Concerns were raised earlier about the cuts uh, implemented by the DBM because of poor utilization of funds in the previous years. And among the concerns raised was that reduced budget for uh, programs that offer frontline or basic services like uh, the construction of classrooms and health facilities, new health facilities. Um, yes. Senator Drillon raised the point that, uh, raised the concern that why should we punish the people for the poor performance of the officials. Um, how will the Senate uh, address these concerns, handle this um, re reduced budget for basic services? Simple. It will be reinstalled. I'm putting a budget. Uh, first of all, it is not accurate to say that there is no budget for classrooms except that it was reduced because, I'll explain that later, or remind me to, after this to explain the cash-based budget. So there will be classrooms that will be constructed. In fact, as we speak now, classrooms are being constructed, but it was one of the slow-moving budget allocations. In fact, the classrooms being built now are from the 2017 budget yet. And if I am accurate, can you check with Attorney Doblon, the 2018 uh, allocation in the school building program is still not being utilized. And so it makes sense that why would you allocate something when there's still funds? Second, the health centers is another slow moving item, but it doesn't mean we're not supporting it. I will put capital outlay for health centers as well. Now, which brings me, so the issue of no classrooms is not exactly accurate. The issue of no health centers is not actually accurate. There may have been a reduced budget in the NEP of 2018, but it means to say that the 2017, the previous year, is only being implemented now. And the 2018 is still not being touched, so there's still a budget, right? So we will also make sure that there will be a budget for 2019.